and that's where the fight starts because he's like you know girl I don't respect you here you go so he just lunges after her and she's like protecting herself and and welcome to my channel. I'm Melody and on this channel I share dog content so if you love dogs be sure to click the subscribe button down below and like this video and you'll keep seeing new content every Saturday and occasionally some other videos during the week. So today I am going to talk about dog fights. As you probably know if you have watched previous videos on my channel you know that I have a pack of between four and six dogs. When you have a pack of dogs, or yeah, more, more dogs than one dog, there can be fights. And you guys out there that have experienced a dog fight probably know that a dog fight isn't something to take lightly. It is a very serious and often fright frightening experience. Um, so today I was gonna share just kind of a story time, I guess, on um, like the biggest, most serious dog fight that this little girl has been into. And um, then I'm gonna do a part two where I go more deep into how to prevent dog fighting, what to do when the dogs are fighting, how to, you know, in the best way separate them, and uh, what to do after a dog fight. So stay tuned for that. So, it all started one week after I had gotten Dino into my pack. Now, he, when he came, he had a history of um, lash, lashing out. Lashing out? A few moments later. So when he came, he had a history of uh, reacting to other dogs and lashing out on leash. And in the previous home he had... Uh, they had two dogs, uh, but after a dog fight, they separated them. So, uh, yeah. So he had been in dog fights before. So when he came here, well, in, <laughs> number one, I actually took kind of a risk when I let him into my pack with already four dogs. I think I had at the time. So when I introduced him to the pack, I had already taken a walk with him by myself and kind of got a feeling of who he was and his personality and why he was acting out on the leash and it became clear to me that it wasn't well the aggression was because he was scared but he was put into a leader into a leader position so he had to he felt like he had to um, do something about it and that in that way he reacted and lunged out well so that's why he reacted to other dogs on the walk um, so back to when I introduced him to my pack. Uh, yeah, we came into the door and all the dogs came. My other dogs are very polite, <laughs> thank goodness. So they came and they smelled him out and just got a feeling of, okay, who is this new guy here? And he was sitting in a corner with his tail behind, uh, behind his legs. With his tail be uh, between his legs and really just being like overwhelmed and kind of scared of all the dogs, his true colors started started to show, which was a relief to me because that then I knew, okay, this is going to be easy to fix. It's not a aggression problem where, uh, you know, he's, he's still going to go after the dogs. It's because he was afraid. So as long as I had the right leadership, everything's just going to be fine. So one week go by and nothing has happened. He's become best friends with uh, one of my dogs at least, or not my dog, but a dog I was... Uh, well, he was living here. A dog I was taking care of at the time. Um, and the other, other dogs, they could sense that he was kind of unstable, kind of unsure. So that they didn't want to have much contact with him, which is fine. And uh, this girl was one of them. <laughs> so she was like, I don't dare to, to make contact with you. But you know, of course, I'm fine with you being here in our family, in our pack. So on this specific day, his previous owners came for a visit just to see how everything was going and and she was impressed that he could be with all of these other dogs and, you know, he was fine, nothing happened. 
So at this time he was very happy and he was... Oh, I have to find the English word here. I'm gonna say it in Swedish and just put text in English because I actually don't remember. Han tog för sig mer än vad han skulle ha vågat om den förra rätta ägaren inte var med. So anyway, <laughs> he was, you know, really like being a little bit overly confident. He decided this was a good time to really get to know Annie. And Annie had shown previously when he tried to like uh, smell her and everything that no, I'm not comfortable with you yet, keep your distance. And he had respected that. But now he was like overly confident, his previous owners are there. I'm, you know, I let my guard down. I'm like, eh, this is going fine. <laughs> and so he's like, okay, I'm gonna take this chance and I'm gonna smell this girl. I am gonna, <laughs> I am gonna get to know her. So she let him know that no, I do not want that close contact right now. But he didn't respect that this time because yeah, he was overly confident. So he kept going on her. And me, being the pack leader, in that moment I should have just gone in and corrected him and said no, she doesn't want that, you have to respect that, go. And I think he would have listened to that and just gone away. But, I don't know, something just... <laughs> I just made the wrong decision I guess and I just... Instead of letting him know that no, don't do that, I picked up Annie. I picked... yeah, I picked her up into my lap and had her there and she was all frustrated and, and kind of mad and she's kind, kind of insecure in herself as well so two insecure sources, him and her and frustration, it does not make a good match so when he saw that I picked her up he got more intense because he, he realized wow, even Melody, the pack leader, is you know, interested in this well, conversation that we two are having and she's picking her up. So he didn't know, you know, what was going on and that was kind of like, whoa, something really is wrong or just something, even the pack leader reacted, so this must, must be something special or something. Um, yeah, so I have Annie in my lap for a while, I talked to the owner, just trying to mellow things down and not really paying attention to the small signs in the body language in the dogs. So after a while, Annie wanted, wants to jump down, so I let her, she's like oh, down to the floor again. Dino directly goes to Annie and starts to like sm smell her again. She just, she's had enough. So she just, uh, well, goes after him. She, she's like, no, stop it, I don't want it. And that's where the fight starts, because he's like, you know girl, I don't respect you, here you go. So he just lunges after her and she's like protecting herself and trying to go after him and it's just a mess. So obviously at this point his own, his previous owners is just sitting there being all you know scared. I oh, feel bad to this day because yeah it's not it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a good situation. Yeah I could have prevented it so yeah. Anyway this in this moment they're going after each other. Annelie realizes that, okay, he's bigger, stronger, he has a bigger mouth than I have. My best chance here is to run. So she starts to running around the apartment. Now, as you probably know if you've been watching previous videos, I live in a very small one-room apartment, so there's not much space. But she goes off running around trying to hide under my bed and everything, and he just goes after her everywhere. And it's a mess and I'm just chasing them around trying to get him. And I think I did at a point, but he didn't have like a collar or anything on. So my hands slipped on him and like he got loose again and started, started chasing Annie again. And uh, that went on for a while. And at one point he even had like Annie's head in his mouth. And I was like, okay, she's, she's, she's gonna die <laughs> today. But thank god that didn't happen. Instead, she managed to get out onto my balcony because I had, it was summer and I had the door open. She runs out on the balcony and uh, Dino's previous owner uh, fa acts fast and closes the door. And that was such a good 
thing to do because then I could finally I could get Dino into a leash I think I did yes and everything and the, lo the owner we talk for a while and then she leaves and I'm gonna just handle this so the next step is to re reunite these two so the mistake very many owners do is that they when two dogs have been fighting they separate them and they are separated for a long while and then you know so the last memory they have of each other is fight and so that when they are re reunited they're gonna go in that mode again fight mode because that's the last memory they have so I really needed to be careful how I did this when I introduced Annie and Dino again because I mean this was my new family member here pack member and you know I was gonna make this work so I put Dino in a leash and I went outside on the balcony where Annie was and she was so cute she was sitting in the corner all scared poor little thing and she had like Dino's drool all over the place thank goodness she didn't have any blood or any you know any injuries at all she was just very scared <laughs> poor thing anyway so I go out there with Dino and he tries to lunge after her again and I just correct him right there then and there I just tell him no that's not okay I lay him down on the ground and there he lays until he is relaxed and Annie's seeing all of this and she's like wow human <laughs> You really messed it up in there by picking me up and not dealing with the problem when it was at like a level 3 because then it never would have escalated to a level 9, level 10 red zone. Um, but I'm very glad that you're dealing with it now. She was sitting there just being like, wow. <laughs> so I put her in, in a leash as well. Uh, and when Dino's calmed down, he's just lay, laying there on the floor <gasps> being all exhausted. I take them for a walk and after that things were fine again and it was a bit scared I think for a week or so after that not really wanting to be near Dino but you know he never ever has tried to do anything like that again and they just you know today they're good friends so that's the story for today hope you got something out of it and stay tuned for next Saturday when I'm going to do a part two about how to deal with dog fights because it's a serious thing and if you don't know how to deal with it I mean animals can lose their lives and humans can get bit and it's just a bad situation so stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next week bye